Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and we are playing Diaries of Death, the permadeath run of Hermetheus, uh, Paladin of Vengeance and Retribution, who is trying to stop the spread of uh, the undead in Skyrim. And today we have come to his final episode uh, where he is going to take on uh, Putimia, the Wolf Queen, has returned and we're going to try to prevent that from happening. Um, as always, the Diaries of Death, the idea behind them is uh, starter characters uh, take on tier 1 challenges, so anything kind of between level 1 and 20-ish. Uh, Hermetheus is already a bit uh, too high almost, like on the very upper epsilon of that. And whoever survives the tier 1 challenges uh, can be voted upon for tier 2 challenges, meaning a bit further quests that, re uh, that require mid-game characters between level 20 and 40-ish, I would say. So that's the name of the game. Hermetheus is still uh, very much alive. And today we are joining either the Sovereign Guard uh, forces or the uh, tier two characters. So let's uh, go and take a look at the quest. Some of her minions. Steer says she's still in spirit form, or we'd all be dead already. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding, but I need you to go talk to him to see if Steer can tell us what to do next. Mm -hmm. Who's Steer? He's Solitude's priest of Arcae. He's the one who figured out Potema was still around. He'll help as much as he can. I'll talk to Steer. We'll figure something out. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. Very good. And with that, the second part of uh, the Wolf Queen Potema quest has started. It's time to take this challenge on. It is the one that will make or break Hermetheus's Diary of Death. That is what he had come here for. It's the tier one quest. <clears throat> He's almost a bit over leveled, but be it as it may, uh, we actually can uh, deal with it right now. So let's go and talk to that stir guy. Oh, sir. Fox sent me to talk to you about ah, Potima. Potema, former queen of solitude and one of the most dangerous necromancers in recorded history. She was responsible for the Empire's near collapse almost 500 years ago. I believe I have a book about her. And now that Potima has returned? Summoned in spirit form is not raised from the dead. She'll need help before she can return to the living. For the moment, the Wolf Queen has retreated to a place filled with dead, eager to serve her. She has gone to her old catacombs. A few days ago, one of her servants busted through a wall into the Temple of Divines. We'll mm -hmm. need you to go into the catacombs themselves. Wait, you want me to go? No, I can't do that. Good. Being at the summoning created a connection to Potema. You are the one to do this. I can provide you with some help with her minions. As to Potema herself, find what's left of her body, likely a skeleton. Remove it from the catacombs and bring it back to be sanctified by R.K. What do I need to know about Potema? A figure. Unrepentantly evil and nasty, of course, but also astonishingly brilliant, and obviously quite a necromancer at her end. She was always so close to being Empress, but despite her machinations, it was never to be hers. Ironically, if she were alive today, she'd be the only living member of the Septim bloodline. By all rights, she would now be Empress. Got I'll you. Bless you with a long life. Well, you as well, my friend. Good, we're ready. We are going into the temple. We're currently at the Temple of the Nine Divines, still in solitude. Time to defeat uh, Potema. Uh, as a short uh, info, I, like I mentioned at the end of last episode, changed around the uh, alteration uh, feats and put them into blocking and a bit into destruction magic. So we got basic 
uh, destruction lightning magic. Off we go. Good. We got to see how well that whole destruction thing works. Still getting familiar with uh, everything. You've arrived at last. The hero who prevented me from being bound returns to my fold. I have much to thank you for, little one. When you die, I will raise you, and you can take your place by my side. You'll serve me soon enough. Good. If my memory served me well, we had some really nasty invisible enemies here. Just putting that there for good measure. All right, bring it on, buddy. Well, at least that works. It's just a matter of dealing enough damage now. Vampires, interesting, okay. All right, bring it on. I think they are healing the Draugr from behind. All well, the Draugrs are just exceptionally hard to kill. That worked well. I think she was healing them from behind. All oh, these drogers are just hardcore drogers. Either way. a decent amount of damage not too much but only a novice spell so what do we expect right also haven't really leveled destruction a lot yet thinking that there is an invisible enemy somewhere but I might be mistaking it just trying to be safe here
Yo, bring it on. Trying to bait me into the room? Not working, my friend. Yeah, that Spectre Sword is pretty damn good. Fortified health. I could definitely craft myself a couple of fortified one-handed potions. Okay, any special bolts that we do have? Oh yeah, orcish bolts. Always good against necromancers, true and tried. Oh no, we're fighting against vampires, I forgot. Also necromancers of some sort. But they require more advanced measures. Nice. Okay. Good. Nice. He got her down. Exquisite destruction. Okay, cool. Well, they are not playing around. Definitely should get the rune mastery. Okay, so that takes care of one of them. And both are down. Yeah, I should have skilled blocking much earlier. It's such a difference. Regaining 25 points when you block. here and once we shout the DPS definitely goes up I like it Fortify health, good. Um, tell you what, might as well just drink that. Because why not? Yeah, 
Yeah, we need stronger runes, but generally speaking, they're a decent AoE damage and much more effective damage-wise compared to normal damaging spells. Well, that deals almost no damage. Drinking our vial to be filled up. That's what we got it for. That guy definitely was a bit stronger than the others. Good, the uh, white vial is gone, unfortunately, so no more saving chances from now on. Let's regain the shout. I want to fight against the vampire without it. Why is that not hitting him? Eventually going to be out of stamina. There you go, my friend. Apparently, we can't hit the vampire with our undead sunstrike attack. No idea why exactly that did not work out because I've every single other vampire that uh, we have met we could have uh, hit so far but apparently it didn't work with him Well, these guys are no joke. And the age old problem with uh, stamina regeneration kicks in yet again. Ah! 
Good. I think I will just bite the bullet in skill heal stamina. And seriously, it's starting to get ridiculous. We've put a lot of points into stamina improvements, but with the speed of us hitting. Not much further. Come to me. Serve me in death. Interesting, even a dead vampire here. This was, of course, not completely unexpected. experience and we put a potion up because I do get the feeling we're at the end very soon I'm going to find Potima herself One thing that these guys all do not have is just normal common food. Which we could use in order to regenerate stamina. There we go. You've come far, Lord. But can you stand against my inner council? Let's see. Well, we're going to see about that. some regeneration up got to be careful with the stamina management uh, the lightning certainly does not deal as much damage Okay, so far so good. Gotta deal with the stamina, for the love of God.
time for some more magicka that we need. I think that was the last wave, but I might be wrong. Of course, I forgot about her. Fantastic. There we go. Potima. 100% health regeneration. More frost gear. Legend of the Kraken House. Which uh, we could certainly read. I don't know what that is. Staff of Icy Shards. Oh, that one is nice. Daedric Command Staff. Thank you. Plenty of cash loot. And we got a few draugers. <laughs> a few draugers down here. Each of which needs to be looted. I'll do that real quick. Good. Done with the looting. And we're on our way back to Solitude, where we hopefully will get a big reward. I know we're getting a great, nice reward for it. guys uh, seem to be kind of the bonus experience For some, I'm hoping so. I do have Potema's remains excellent these things do have a way of working out when people take action I'll sanctify the remains. In case Falk doesn't make it clear, Solitude owes you a debt of gratitude. Oh, I hope he makes it clear. Maybe with a great little shield. With magic regen uh, magic resistance. Over your battle, friend. I've taken care of Potema. You've done a great thing today. It doesn't matter who you support in the war. Potema would have been a blight on the land for both sides. Without you, this would have been a disaster. I should have paid more heed to Varnius's warnings. I won't make that mistake again. Take this payment. The Jarl would thank you, but she very much wants to keep Potema's return quiet. Make no mistake. We consider you a protector of solitude. 5,000 and the Shield of Solitude. Holy moly. Thank you. See? Wolf Queen Awakened was definitely worth it. And uh, with that, we finally got the Shield of Solitude. Increase magic resistance by 30% and damage blocked by another 30%. So, Shield of Solitude... Definitely needs to be in all of our weapon setups.
Great, look at that. Oh. Yes. No. Yes. Save. Thank you. Any one magic resist that is overcapped. 3BF tweaks reduced it from 90% to 75. So for what we're trying to do, we are definitely golden. Uh, even with slight magic resist reduction, this character would stand the test of time. Uh, next up for defensive character would be working on the elemental resistances, but we do have quite a bit there as well. The Dawnguard Shield served us for a long period of time. It was good, uh, it was fantastic, but the Shield of Solitude is just, yeah, a absolutely phenomenal item. One that I cannot praise highly enough, weighs uh, not much, it just has a tiny bit less armor and scales with evasion instead of uh, my heavy armor. But those are details not really needed. 30% uh, magic resistance is fantastic. That's That in itself is already good and the damage block is, is great as well. So with that we come to an end and uh, I think Hermetheus has stood the test of time. He survived the Diaries of Death in his permadeath run, uh, made it through chapter one of his diary. If you enjoyed uh, Putima and uh, the fight against the Undead Scourge, let me know about uh, that. And uh, if you click the like button hard enough, you might get such an awesome wolf shield as well. Thank you for watching, guys, and please let me know what kind of builds you'd like to see is uh, if the series uh, might continue i'm looking for inspiration on what type of character would be uh, interesting to view thank you for watching take care and see you soon bye bye